So I saw somebody on one of the billions of Twin Flame Facebook groups yesterday. They posted a question. They said, so when exactly did your uh, spiritual ascension take off? And I saw that and I thought, I know exactly when that happened. My ascension took off the minute I stopped obsessing over my twin flame. <clears throat> and by the way, because I started to embrace my ascension instead of the physical twin flame person, paradoxically, ironically, my twin flame started chasing me. Funny how that works, right? Funny how that works. The twin flame obsession is like the most damaging thing that there is in the spiritual community. When you look, so, so here's what I am calling the twin flame obsession. When you look on the internet, on YouTube, and you type twin flames in the search, it's like you start to watch the videos and you get engrossed in it. And like the general message that I get from the so-called twin flame community is this pulsating energy of obsession and fear, like fear of losing the person. And what do I got to do to get the person to be with me? And oh my God, I'll do anything. And the millions of tarot readings and psychics and healers and all this kind of stuff. It's, it's the general atmosphere of melee and confusion and obsession, right? That's what I'm calling the twin flame obsession. The twin flame obsession is the general atmosphere in the community. It's the pulsating white noise that comes from your screen when you look for twin flame information. And it's just a whole bunch of fear and obsessing and questions and agony and opinions and it's just a big mixture of fear-based energy of desperation and just it's an obsession it's it's the community it's an energy that you you feel you sense from the so-called twin flame community and i call that energy the twin flame obsession it's the general hysteria and obsession around the topic of twin flames, the twin flame obsession. It's not what any one person, when, when you are obsessed, specifically you, any one person or me or whoever, specifically obsessed with your twin flame, it's the general obsession in the community, right? The twin flame obsession, right? It's herd mentality, the twin flame obsession. It's like herd mentality. And it's very, very damaging. And then you come onto my channel and I'm like one of the only people that are trying to tell you guys to stop doing that. Even if you wanted to get your twin flame to come be with you, which you can do, I did it. I've coached over a thousand people on how to do it. I've got students that are freaking married to their twin flame with their twin flame. You can go to my website. There's a link in the description box below and read my testimonial section. <clears throat> it's, it's actually not that hard, guys. But the first thing you need to do is let go of the twin flame obsession, okay? The purpose of twin flames is not for you to be together. We're not here to save the world. Now, you can get your twin flame to come be with you. It is true, you can do that. But again, paradoxically, how you do that is to let go of the obsession. Stop like obsessively watching Twin Flame videos and tarot readings. If you came to my channel through a tarot reading, I've got some news for you. It's a, it's a friendly ruse. It's a good guy ruse, okay? It's, it's an advertisement, it's a commercial. Tarot is real and and me personally, I'll do a tarot reading for like my friends and family. I won't do tarot readings for Twin Flames. I won't do that. Like if you want to pay me for a private one, I won't do it. I won't do it. The, the collective tarot readings that I do, um, a lot of people watch them and they go, damn, this is really accurate, Kurt. And well, 
it's tarot, so yeah, it's gonna resonate with people, right? It's tarot. But the only reason I do that is because during the tarot reading, there's little messages in there, aren't there? All the time I'm telling you, stop watching tarot readings, go watch my other videos, sign up for some coaching, go watch my free videos, go watch my free videos, sign up for some coaching, Go watch my other videos. Sign up for some coaching. Go watch my free videos. Go watch my free videos, right? Stop watching tarot readings, guys. In the tarot reading. Now, why do I do the tarot reading? Well, because when you type Twin Flames in on YouTube, what do you get? A whole shit house of tarot readings. And I've taken it upon myself, I've taken it upon myself to rescue you from the Twin Flame obsession. You're welcome. I know you guys are watching tarot readings, and I know you won't do anything else but watch tarot readings. So maybe if I post tarot readings, I can shift you away from the Twin Flame obsession through the tarot reading. You start watching my tarot reading, and I start you start hearing me say things like, stop watching tarot readings, go watch my other videos, Okay, so you go watch my other videos, and then you go, oh, oh my god, this guy makes sense. Holy shit. i got to stop watching tarot readings. Hallelujah. Thank you. Stop watching them, please. I mean, I, I would love to actually stop doing tarot readings, but they work, guys. I'm trying to reach people so that I can wake them up. You know, think of the movie The Matrix. Morpheus, he had to go into The Matrix to find Neo, did he not? So I have to go into the matrix with the tarot readings to find you guys, to pull you out of there. Stop watching tarot readings. And, and it's not really just the tarot reading. It's the twin flame obsession. You gotta let go of the twin flame obsession. We're not here to, s well, I'm not gonna say that. I was gonna say, we're not here to save the world. Well, that's not really true, but you know, the way that people think of how we're going to save the world is this heroic fairy tale story. Like we're going to all fly to the castle, the wizard's castle on the dragon's back to the wizard castle and with the crystal ball there. And it's like a big, you know, like one of those fantasy novels, like you read, like with the wizards and the dragons and the whole medieval shit. And I don't know, like people, they make this big egotistical story about how we're gonna save the world on our mission. Yeah, no you're not, dude. The only reason that you met your twin flame is to awaken you. You guys are the same soul. You and your twin flame are the same soul. Your soul just wants you to be your soul. It's a spiritual awakening. You and this person are the same spirit. This is all about your spiritual awaken. And if you spiritually awaken, you help to increase the consciousness of the planet. And you don't have to go out on a big elaborate mission like some fairy tale story. You don't have to do that. The belief that you have to do that is part of the twin flame obsession. And you see that message out there in the community and it's ridiculous because it's not even realistic. That's not how the world works. If you want to shift humanity into a higher consciousness, all you need to do to do your part is increase your consciousness and it will start to affect people around you. The whole reason you met your twin flame is so that you can increase your consciousness. You and your twin flame are the same consciousness. And as long as you're clinging to that fairy tale story with the twin flame obsession and clinging to the belief that twin flames are supposed to be together and all this, Number one, you're pushing your twin flame away, ironically. Number two, you're going to stay miserable. You're going to stay stuck in the obsessive behavior and thoughts. So there you go, guys. That's the twin flame obsession. It's dangerous. It's holding you back, and it's pushing your twin flame away. You need to get out of the obsessive energy. Go watch my videos. Go watch my videos. I have a playlist called How to Get Your Twin Flame. Go watch those videos. It'll all make sense to you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.